Brak the Ahau, 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 Brak the Versus scripturally correct. Inspiration for the show comes from the recent lesson I did about that uh, big, beautiful, big beauty woman looking for two men, something of that nature, and it got flagged on one of the channels, which shows you that uh, it got it, it got took down on one of the channels, and one of the channels uh, been on hold. And right there, whoever did that, a part of the YouTube headquarters, they just would have cursed upon themselves. All right, which shows you that. Certain videos uh, for you brothers, you you can relate if you have multiple channels and you're throwing up videos on multiple channels. One ch one video might get flagged on one particular channel, and then it's just and then the other ones they might they might miss it. So that shows that the person was personally offended by the video. Now the reason I'm calling it um, politically correct versus scripturally correct is because I didn't say anything negative according to the scripture, but in this society, being politically correct will cause a mission from the scriptures, man, all right? And the scriptures telling the book of Revelations about adding and taking away from the word. What, because I said a fat bitch? Wait a minute. Isn't a bitch a female dog? The scripture says a shameless woman should be counted as a dog. And, uh, you know, they're trying to avoid the word fat. It's then they're becoming derogatory. But wait, wait, didn't Amos, didn't Amos call uh, the woman that you kind of Bashan? A kind is a cow, but Sean had the fattest cow, so he's calling women fat cows, man. It's Amos. Look, the Bible is, uh, at least in this times, is very offensive. You know, it's not offensive to us. You know, we'll, hey, man, it's not offensive offensive to the ones that have understanding, all right? Because brothers that first come in, of course, they might get offended, you know, because the scriptures is a double edged sword to cut you. All right, but you just you know you take it. But in this in this society, thanks to Esau, this politically correct system is creating a famine of the word. You know, which that shows you how the Mosai the Mosai has a bad way of working because these same people that shutting up certain videos and putting up blockades on channels, they're putting curses on a, a curses upon the uh, cells, man. It's written it's, it's written in the Apocrypha, for not the course of the rivers. So when you shut down these YouTube channels, you putting up blockades upon the river, man. The river represents the word. You putting up blockades, all right? You want brothers to get different avenues, which you know, as long as, as long as that internet is up, the YouTube is up, we just gonna keep flooding channels, man. And we gonna keep bringing out this word unadulterated, man. You know what? Fuck it, all right? You take down a channel, we make many more, man. To the spirit and part of the Lord, man. All right. The only thing that sucks about it is building up back, you know, that drive. But everything is of the Lord, man. All right. Everything is of the Lord, cause you can see they could. Uh, GMS Born Again 2 Alright, the video that they that they Shut that whole channel down for I believe was still up on Born Again 1 Alright, so it's it's not Necessarily like a computer algorithm It's people, alright That were personally offended by these videos And just shoved the word of the Lord Alright, but let that be a curse onto them Okay, and you got, guess what This politically correct movement Is even gone To YouTube uh, uh, To Israelites, man, alright when that shit popped off in D.C., you had a guy that was trying to speak for the Hebrew Israelites, and it sounds like he just didn't want to offend anybody. You know, the guy was just straddling the fence. And that's what that politically, politically correct shit do, man. All right? It makes you straddle the fence. You know, your yeas and nays are not yeas and nays anymore. All right? Because you're trying to appease everybody. Look, man, the scripture's ain't about that. The prophet's ain't about that, man. All right? Now, yeah, we're using wisdom. All right? If if there's a chance to use, uh, if, if there's a chance to not use uh, so-called profanity, then we're, gonna, we're not going to use it, you know what I'm saying? Which they don't even understand the real word of the word profanity, which means outside the temple, man. All right? Shit, bitch, fuck, all these things. The Lord didn't speak any of those languages, man. So if you said that in front of the, 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 the ancient uh, Israelites, they wouldn't know what the hell you were talking about, man. All right? Profane is outside the temple. All right? So a lot of this, the things that these niggas is teaching nowadays, that's outside the temple, man. That's profanity. That's real profanity, man. Not rude speech with the Apostle Paul spoke of, man. But anyways, man, look, man, the most I got the spirit on these Edomites. All right, Jake, this heavy-ass sensitivity, effeminate-ass spirit just flooding up the markets. But guess what? At the end of the day, you're going to have the real men of the Lord that's going to bring this truth out 
However, the spirit hop on them to do it. Let me say it like that. Because sometimes the spirit might hop on you to say, like, you know what, let me, let me just watch my words. I don't feel like dealing with Esau and his bullshit. Or sometimes the spirit might just jump on you raw. You just, just black out, man. You know what I'm saying? You just say what you got to say. Hey, man, but let it be a curse unto all these devils out there, man. That's shutting up brothers' channels. At the end of the day, you're feeling prof uh, fulfilling prophecy. And we know YouTube is, as a whole and the internet is going to be shut down soon, man. So we're praying for those days. So when we see things like this, we get ecstatic, man. All right, we know that what? We know that our Redeemer, Yahweh Shah, is coming back closer and closer. Hey, well, in, well, in closing, man, we're going to keep it scripturally correct, man. You know what? Fuck Esau. Fuck these devils in terms of um, trying to make a sense of the word of the Lord, man. I ain't sensing the word of the Lord. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak, Dash, that belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills, so you well. And salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You are came to the document to do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.